14, a new and marvelous creation. A bliss, a light, a power, a, fla a flame white love caught all into a soul immense embrace. Existence found its truth on oneness breast, and each became the self and space of all. The great world rhythms were heartbeats of one soul. To feel was a flame discovery of God. All mind was a single harp of many strings. All life a song of many meeting lives. For worlds were many, but the self was one. This knowledge was now made a cosmos seed. This seed was cased in the safety of the light. It needed not a sheath of ignorance. And then, from the trance of that tremendous clasp, and from the throbbings of that single heart, and from the naked spirit's victory, a new and marvelous creation rose. There was no sob of suffering anywhere. Experience ran from point to point of joy. Bliss was the pure, undying truth of things. All nature was a conscious front of God. A wisdom worked in all, self-moved, self-sure, a plenitude of illimitable light, an authenticity of intuitive truth, a glory and passion of creative force. Infallible, leaping from eternity, the moment's thought inspired the passing act, a word a laughter sprang from silence breast, a rhythm of beauty in the calm of space, a knowledge in the fathomless heart of time. In these new worlds projected, he became a portion of the universal gaze, a station of the all-inhabiting light, a ripple on a single sea of peace. His mind answered to countless communing minds. His words were syllables of the cosmos speech. His life a field of the vast cosmic stir. He felt the footsteps of a million wills moving in unison to a single goal. In this vast outbreak of perfection's law, imposing its fixity on the flux of things, he saw a hierarchy of lucent planes and theft to this highest kingdom of God's state. An all-revealing all creating bliss, seeking for forms to manifest truths divine, aligned in their significant mystery, the gleams of the symbols of the ineffable blazoned like hues upon a colorless air on the white purity of the witness soul. These hues were the very prism of the Supreme, his beauty, power, delight, creation's cause. A vast truth consciousness took up these signs, 
to pass them on to some divine child heart that looked on them with laughter and delight and joyed in these transcendent images, living and real as the truths they house. The spirit's white neutrality became a playground of miracles, a rendezvous for the secret powers of a mystic timelessness. It made of space a marvel house of God. It poured through time its works of ageless might, unveiled, seen as a luring, rapturous face, the wonder and beauty of its love and force. The eternal goddess moved in her cosmic house. In the temple of the ideal, shrined the one. It peopled thought and mind and happy sense, filled with bright aspects of the might of God and living persons of the one supreme, the speech that voices the ineffable, the ray revealing unseen presences, the virgin forms through which the formless shines, the word that ushers divine experience, and the ideas that crowd the infinite. 